Would you know what to do if someone in the studio went down, if someone at home went down? And three quarters of out of hospital arrests occur really at home. So it's typically going to be a loved one, a friend, a co worker. We know in general there's about 350,000 out of hospital sudden cardiac arrests a year, and the survival is so low. It's about one in 10 that survive. But with bystander CPR, you can increase someone's chances of survival by about two to three times. And in fact, every minute that goes by that you don't restore a heartbeat, mm -hmm their chances of survival drop by about 7 to 10 percent. So if you see someone go down, first you want to make sure that the scene is safe, right? Next step is to really call 911, and then you're going to push hard and fast in the center of the chest. And so the best way to do this is to take the palm of your hand, place it here in between where the nipples are, put the other hand over, elbows locked, shoulders over, and you're going to push down hard and fast. You're pushing down to depress uh, the chest by about two inches. So this is a significant amount of force you're applying. Harder than you think, right? Harder than you think, and you're going to do this at a rate of about 100 to 120 beats per minute. Um, so we talk about thinking of songs to help okay. you kind of keep the beat. The American Heart Association has a playlist called Don't Drop the Beat. One of the classic songs is Staying Alive by the Beatles. It sounds weird, but it's true. Yeah. This helps. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I mean, I'm not a good singer, but, <laughs> but do it. Right. That's, that's, how fast. that's exactly the beats per minute. Exactly. And yeah. that's what you want to keep in your head. Okay. Um, so that is a great way. Um, and so you're going to do hands only CPR. 911 is being called. And then obviously, if you have access to a defibrillator, mm -hmm. um, that's really a great thing to have, too. And a lot of people don't. They're scared. What's in the blue box? They don't know how to apply it. Again, race of defibrillator Easy. use in settings. of One, two, three. Correct. It's so simple. So it tells you turn on. You're going to push the button and turn it on. Okay, you're gonna take out the pads and look, it's, pads it shows you where Plug to place the pads. So here, yep, here, light. it shows you this pad, it shows you where to put this pad. You're gonna plug this in. Apply pads, plug in connector. Okay, so Poppy, I don't know if you wanna help me plug yeah, that yeah, in. And then essentially, analyzing heart rhythm. it's going to analyze the heart rhythm. If it detects a rhythm that's shockable, patient. tells you don't touch the patient, it's gonna de deliver a shock, okay? Mm. It knows shock what to do. Advised. Okay, shock advised. So you're mm. gonna push the button. Charging. Charging, everyone stays clear of the patient. Stay clear of patient. I mean, literally, it's walking you through every step. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button Poppy. now. Shock delivered. Correct. That's it. As soon as the shock's begin delivered, CPR. begin CPR. You go back to giving begin CPR. Cpr. You do that for two minutes, yeah. and then it's going to analyze the rhythm again. Okay. Yeah. So I just want people you to understand. You leave the pads as you you're leave doing the pads. Yeah. yeah, and this has to go on the bare chest, right? Yeah. So if someone's right. clothed, you want to take that off. But this mm -hmm. is so easy. So people should not be afraid. Don't be afraid to give hands-only CPR. Don't be afraid to okay. use the defibrillator. Yeah. You can save a life. And yeah. for babies, for two babies, fingers. it's two fingers. Yeah. Okay.